Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our alpha journey. This is a part two. We've already done our PVE stuff. Um, I'm going to do some faction warfare. So, uh, we've got the task to defend faction warfare complexes, so I believe that means in a friendly system. I'm going to try, ideally, uh, once in uh, every um, stage, right? So I'll try one in. Uh, in a rear guard system, just to see if I just want to see what it takes to satisfy the um, the task. So let's see. That seems like a reasonable path. Yeah. Before we go, let's go ahead and see what we got. Federation Navy Comet. Know what that is. Condor, that's gotta be Kaldari, but Oh, missile frigate. Okay. Propulsion jamming, so So that's basically the Kaldari version of the Slasher, probably. <laughs> All right. Well. <clears throat> oh. One more thing. as well. Now we can go. Web drive active. Oh yeah, 
I also, uh, went and caught a bunch of skins that were, uh, pretty cheap. Some of these are really cool, these Glittering Dream skins, like black and gold. Pretty cool. Yeah, semi semiotic are pretty nice also. Anyway, they're not for ships that I'm that I fly a lot, but figured it couldn't hurt. Alright, well we are in a rear guard system. Uh, there's a medium, so let's cap it. Actually, maybe I should get the large. Or maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll just do the medium because I think it's faster. <coughs> I don't think it's going to get me anything. It's probably going to effectively be a waste of time, other than just clearing the site. Um, so it'll respawn elsewhere. I guess it might get us a little bit of advantage. Alright, so, just in general, I prefer to be away from the warp endpoint, especially if I've got a ship that's got range. Basically, as a, as a drone and E war boat, boat. That's cool. Slow. Baxters are slow ships, even with an afterburner. It's not going to be real fast. So he's not going to be chasing anybody down, but once he catches them, their life is going to really suck. Ogres, hobgoblins, heads, ears. Ugh.
generally prefer to not have such a mix. <clears throat> put the right, you know, you put some drone mods on there and, and heavy drones will do a really good job. In fact, most of, uh, <clears throat> We've got a character that flies a, an Ishtar, uh, which is an amazing drone boat, and basically just use his heavy drones for everything. I mean, except for salvage, obviously, but even against the smallest drones, they do just fine. Get the time reversible. Eight minutes left. Well, nine minutes.
All right. Uncontested. So, I believe I get nothing. Yep. And it doesn't count. All right. So let's go to a... Okay. Command system, I guess. Or am I blanking on what they're called? <clears throat> oh, it doesn't give any advantage either. might just be for the supply caches. Um, broadcast thingies. theory, by clearing it there, it'll pop somewhere else, hopefully in a uh, system that matters a little more. There is what makes the difference. Sub drive active. My theory. Web drive active. Still rear rear guard, but it is contested. My hypothesis is that because it's contested, it'll it might um, 
satisfy the requirements. Again, we'll post up on the other side here. our clock in view. So, you may well ask, why am I potentially wasting so much time on this? And really it's just, I mean, I guess I would say for science, you know, just to figure out exactly what the parameters are for these tasks. Um, you know, and also, just to kind of see or show the um, the other side of faction warfare, I guess. I mean, obviously, you can get out there and get in fights and blow up ships. Um, but if that's not your jam, then uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that faction warfare is not for you, right? You can still contribute, you can still do stuff and it might be nice and safe and boring most of the time. Um, right? Gotta keep an eye on local. If you see any enemies in local, then you wanna be descanning. Right? And I've got it set to 0.1 AU, 360 angle. So if anyone, basically, if anyone warps into the gate, I'll see them and I'm not getting a lot of extra info that I don't need. That's the theory, anyway. Um, you know, and then it's on me to decide what I'm gonna do about it, All right? So last time uh, I did Faction Warfare, I made the wrong choice. Right, I saw a ship come in. Uh, I believe it was a slicer. No, not a slicer. It was a um, stiletto, I think. 
Um, anyway, an, an interceptor. I recognized it as an interceptor. I knew what ship that was because I've flown it on other characters. Um, it is a fast ship. When, like when the uh, Galente um, race event happens, uh, that's what I acquired that ship for. Um, it's great for that purpose. It's got a fast warp speed. You can set it up for super fast align times. Like, it can be extremely fast for traveling long distances. Um, it can also be extremely fast in short distances, because its purpose is to uh, well, intercept. Catch another ship and lock it down, right? So it can't get away. So the bigger uh, ships can hammer it into dust. And that's what happened to me. Um, I didn't think about what that meant. I thought, well, I'm in a cruiser with uh, rapid light missile launchers and medium drones, got decent DPS with good application against small ships, so maybe I can take that guy. What I wasn't considering is that he was using his ship correctly as part of a team. So, a, uh, I believe it was a Navy exchequer jumped in and hammered me to dust. And there was nothing I could do about it because I failed to leave when I had the chance. Um, so that's why you always want to keep your eye on local. You see orange here, start V scanning. As soon as you see another ship show up here, then you need to start making a choice. <laughs> and, you know, if your choice is that you're not in the PvP, then you could just leave. Um,. One thing I've done a few times in this channel is uh, jump around between multiple sites with someone chasing me, right? So maybe there's multiple scout sites, say, if I'm in a frigate. Somebody jumps in to the site that I'm in. I jump over to the next one. They follow me over there. I jump to the next one, you know, and... Yeah, I'm not making great progress, but I am frustrating my pursuer quite a bit, I assume. Wasting their time, so they're not uh, going after other people in the Mittar Militia. That has some value.
done with this site. Hey, there we go. All right, hypothesis confirmed. Supported? It's been too long. Um, yeah, so rear guard's fine as long as it's contested. So this is around about 40 minutes. I am going to dock up. Web drive active. Loyalty points awarded. So how much did we get? Probably not much. 81. Hell yeah. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. Defensive, so less.
give it a couple minutes, see if there's a response. Um, and in the meantime, let's look at ships. After all, that's why we play this game, because we like ships. Alright, so anyway... Yeah, I think it was a stiletto that got me, right? So... Bonus to propulsion jamming. Uh, reduction in observation cost. Improved range. That was what really screwed me. He had me, like, locked down from, like, 20, uh, KM, so. must have had some other bonuses, because I don't think the 5% will get you there. The, well, 25%, assuming he's got max skills. <clears throat> um, anyway... The reason I'm doing all those, all three missions, is I think I want to get myself a Typhoon. be a tempest I guess but I don't know I feel like I like the typhoon yeah, nobody responding about the battlefield let's see He seems to be interested in the battlefield, so...
Kali. Probably thinking just some uh, small auto cannons for taking out stuff that gets in too close. Small or medium, I guess. It's depending on what I can fit. Um, let's see. Certainly fit a shield booster and missile guidance computer gets my range up to thirty nine. The other thing we could do here instead of a booster is a um, hardener, multi spectrum. So that might actually be the better choice. Um, I typically will rock these without a script. Right? So, without a script, they kind of boost everything. velocity bonus explosion velocity bonus explosion radius bonus flight time bonus right and so you basically you choose between range and precision when I do use the script it's usually range um, but I kinda prefer these days to go without the script and just kind of boost everything. Alright, so first of all, damage control. It's like the most basic thing, it makes a big difference. Right, look, jump from 85 up to 108. Like, that's not nothing. Um, all right, missile, ballistic controls, put a couple of those on there, missile guidance enhancers. Couple of those on there. Now let's see how we're looking. 
47 kilometers. Targeting is out to 99. <clears throat> It's at 47 kilometers range, 823 DPS. That's not bad. Um, what else? We could do some drone upgrades. upgrades uh, these I'm not as familiar with what are this increase shield recharge rate while lowering the maximum shield capacity yeah I don't know about that power relays. power from the capacitors to the shields, thereby increasing the shield recharge rate. Sure, why not? And what else? Drone damage amplifier, maybe? It's got a big drone base, so why not? Grid and CPU. Let's look at our turrets. Auto cannons. Let's 
so range is 9 km. And we're looking at 40 DPS per. That's not terrible. Alright. So. Rigs. That'll include rate of improved rate of fire. So we kind of always want that. That'll improve our range. But we don't have space for it. Sir. It's always good to plug that hole. We could also do extender. That's maybe even better. that for now. No responses about the battlefield, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume nobody cares and call it a day. So, until next time, have a good one.